Hi. All right. Let's talk about how Prakriti is Shakti. What? Okay. Well, here's another attribute of Prakriti. Prakriti is Shakti. That means that it is literally the movement of everything. Whether something is conscious of this movement or not. So, Prakriti is the dimensions. That's why we have a first dimension, second dimension, third dimension, and so on. Prakriti is the rock that does not know it's a rock. Prakriti is the seed that doesn't know it's a plant until it becomes the plant. Prakriti is the fire that does not know it burns. The water that doesn't know it flows. Here's where it gets interesting. The consciousness of the in, of these beings that makes them insentient to sentient. That's a part of Parusha. Now here's what's really interesting, is that it's only an attribute of Parusha. Okay, from what we understand, is that Prakriti is the movement and is the motion for Parusha. One of the attributes of Purusha is consciousness, but recognition is different from consciousness. You can be conscious, but not be self-aware. Okay? According to Sakya Darshan, one of the greatest books ever that I fully recommend you getting. Consciousness is one thing, and recognition is another. You may be conscious, but suddenly you recognize something. That recognition is an added realization of something within consciousness. Recognition is vidya, which means knowledge. And the absence of that is avidya, that means without knowledge. So, avidya does not mean absence of consciousness. Avidya is present even in conscious beings. This is why we always get so confused with shit. Because we're like, well, what's the illusion? What is Prakriti? What is Shakti? And which part of me is Purusha? Well, consciousness is an attribute of Purusha. So is recognition. But it functions within whatever capsule is helping it to move through time and space. In fact, even the creation of time and space, that's all Prakriti. That's all Shakti. All of this is Shakti except for certain attributes of Purusha. And just a couple of those are consciousness and recognition. Something to think about little short on another attribute of Prakriti. And guess what? There's more. But ponder on this one first. I hope this helped. Many blessings on your journey.